So hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and today I will be taking you to the most advanced PCB manufacturing facilities in China, the PCB GoGo. -Go. So in this video, I'll be covering each and every step starting from online ordering to the final shipment. We'll see how digitalization, automation and precision comes together to make high quality PCB for your projects. So come, let's check out how PCBs are manufactured step by step. So before heading towards the factory, we went through this room full of displays and this is what they call is their smart data center. So here we can visualize the real time data of the factory like how many employees are working, how many orders are being shipped daily, from which part of the country or the world they are getting the maximum orders etc. So basically we can monitor the complete factory by just sitting in the single room. Interesting. Okay, so Yanni, this is this was a really cool uh, like data center. But uh, now, what's the next step? Uh, let's move to the engineer's office. See, okay. uh, our engineers will review the orders and what uh, making some production files. Okay. Before fabrication. Okay, sounds cool. Let's check it out. Let's go. So while heading towards the engineer's office, on the way, I get to see my photos running on the display, which was a great welcoming gesture. I really liked it. Moving ahead, we finally reached the engineer's office. So after we place the order on PCB GoGo, -Go, it's first sent to the review and the team sitting here reviews your order before it is actually sent to the production. So they first check all the files you have uploaded. Later, they also conduct the pre-production tests like DFM and DRC to ensure the PCB will be successfully manufactured in the factory or not as per the customer's requirement. And after your design is passed from all these steps, later you can pay for your order. Now once the customer pays the order, it will be sent to the panel engineer who will add the PCB on the panel and make the production ready Gerber file. And also, they will generate a unique QR code for each order and by scanning the QR code, they come to know that the order is currently in which type of manufacturing. And the same thing, customers can also track on the website as well. After the PCB is verified, uh. the customer will pay the amount, right? Yes. And later, what's the next step? And we will uh, start production. Uh, pro production. Production. Okay. Production. All set are done. Yes. Uh, manufacturing instructions. Okay. And then we can go to the Yeah, uh, so let's factory. see the production. So we reach the first step of PCB production called as PCB plate cutting, where the raw material is cut into smaller units, which later can be feeded to the machines in the next step. And as you can see, they can cut multiple panels at once in this machine. Later, after cutting the panels in the required size, they also round off the corners so that it is safe to handle the panels for all the upcoming processes. And after the raw material is cut, the next step is drilling. So here, I get to see a lot of machines and each machine was having multiple drilling heads in it. Now this machine is programmed with the drill file that we provide while ordering and with that the machine comes to know that where to drill and of what size. And before the drill process, they also add this protective layer over the panel for precise drilling. Now once the drilling is done, it is sent to the next step which is called as chemical copper sinking. So in this step, the drilled PCB panels are put in this metal cage kind of thing and here they place each panel with a little gap in between. And later, these panels are processed with several chemical processes to add the copper inside the drill holes so that they become conductive and can make the connections between top and bottom layer. And after adding the copper in the holes, the PCBs are first cleaned here before moving on to the next step. And in this process, the panels are cleaned multiple times to remove all the chemical over it and also they are dried before sending it to the next step. And as you can see, the PCBs are now sent to this yellow room. So let's check out what's happening in this step. And now to go inside this yellow room, we first need to prepare ourselves. So here we need to wear the special clothes with the cap so that we don't carry any kind of dust in the room. 
and before going inside we also need to pass through the air room which will remove any kind of dust particle if present over this clothes as well and now we are inside the room and you'll notice everything is under yellow lighting that's because this is where they work with the photosensitive layers and exposure of blue or uv lights can damage the material so in this step the drilled pcbs are feeded to this automatic film lamination machine in which it will add the layer of photosensitive film on it on both the sides here you can see the change in color of the panels after adding the photosensitive layer after adding that photosensitive layer the panel is inserted into the ldi machine or we can say laser direct imaging machine but the machine will add the pcb design on it using laser well after adding the design the panel looks like this now after this step they will first remove the film over the panel and put them here which will take the panels for the next step okay. So after coming from that yellow room the PCB panel looks like this with the design already exposed on it with that blue film and now in the next step these panels are put into these machines one by one and later the panels need to go through a lot of chemical process to do electroplating so after this process as you can see the panels are now white and blue in color and here the white material is nothing but the tin which is electroplated over copper So basically here they add the layer of tin to protect the copper added inside the wires of the PCB. And now after adding the layer of tin, now it's time to remove all the excess layer from the panel and for that it will pass through this SES alkaline etching line where the SES stands for strip each strip. So basically it's a three step alkaline processing line to get our final PCBs. So in the first strip process the panel in white and blue color is inserted and here the blue photoresist will be etched first and as you can see after the process the panel is now in white and copper color and all the blue layer is removed now in the second step it will etch the unwanted copper on the panel and after this process as you can see now the panel is only white as all the excess copper is etched away And now in the last step which is the second strip it will remove the white layer of tin and we get to see the complete PCB design in copper on the panel and now later after this step the PCB panels are sent to AOI or we can say automated optical inspection process so here first the panel is inserted in this machine to check whether it has any kind of shorting or fault in it and in case it has some fault in it it will be sent to this machine and here they will manually scratch out the shot so that's all about the aoi process and now we are heading towards the next step in pcb manufacturing which was printing line so here they will apply the solder mask over the pcb which is generally green in color but they do have other colors as well like uh white uh, red blue uh yellow uh -huh. and, and a matte black matte gray and matte green yes okay yes, and purple Yeah. <laughs> Not only single colors but PCB Go Go offers multicolor PCB masking as well and it's done with the help of this machine. So later after adding the PCB color mask on it they will print the silk screen with the help of these machines and after printing silk screen the PCBs are almost ready and they are left with the final finishing and testing parts. After that the PCBs will go here in the high speed flying needle test where the machine will check the continuity of all the parts to ensure that everything is working properly and they were having a lot of machines to do the testing and this kind of testing is done only for the smaller batches of the PCB but the PCB order with really huge quantity will be tested in different machines so what they do here is they prepare the test jigs for the PCB and later they will put the jig in this machine and the machine will pick each PCB one by one and put it in the jig and will check all the continuity of the parts within seconds So this type of test is much faster than the probe test hence they use this process for bulk orders. Later after this test now it's time to cut the PCBs out from the big panel and if the PCB have some slits in it well that's also done in this machine only. 
and here in my hand you can see a sample PCB cut out from the complete panel. And now this machine is for cutting only the fiberglass based PCBs but the one with the aluminum base are cut in this laser cutting machine. And here in my hand you can see some samples of aluminum based PCBs after the laser cutting process. Now after the cutting process, it will go through final manual inspection to see if everything is okay and in the end, the PCBs are placed over this bubble wrap for vacuum packaging. But while they were putting all the PCBs one by one, I got a question that how they recognize which PCBs are of which client as there is no label on them. So when I asked this question, they showed me that they already have a sample PCB of each order with the order label on them and in the end, they will match the packed PCBs with the sample to know which order is of which client. So after getting my answer, we went back to the packaging room where they were putting the silica bags to absorb the moisture. And then the panel will move inside and now just wait to look how vacuum packaging is done. Isn't that just amazing? And after vacuum packaging, the PCBs will be sent to the next step where they will pack all the PCBs and ship them as per the order. So that was the complete process of PCB manufacturing. But some customers do require the PCB A service as well where they want all the components already soldered on their PCB and PCB go go who offers PCBA service as well. So now let's check out what are the steps involved in doing the assembly after the PCB production. So after dressing up properly for the ESD and dust protection, we went inside the assembly area where they were having a lot of assembly machines. So let me show you how this machine works. So first they will apply the solder paste on the PCBs with the help of the stencil. And later the PCB will be inspected in this SPI or we can say solder paste inspection machine to check the solder paste was added properly or not. Then the PCB will be going into this step where it will place all the SMT components on it one by one based on the pick and place file already programmed in this machine. After all the SMT components, the PCBs are sent to this oven where the PCBs will be heated from 130 degrees Celsius up to 250 degrees Celsius to make sure the components get soldered properly. And later, it will go inside this AOI or we can say automated optical inspection machine to check if the solder is done properly or not. And also, they do visual inspection here and if everything is okay, the PCBs are put in this rack and if it has some kind of fault in it, they will put it here and also add a sticker mark on it which they will solve it out later. So that was all about the SMT component shouldering and testing. And now we are heading towards the DIP section. So here they will manually place all the through hole components on the PCB one by one and after they place them all, they will put them here in this customized plate. And later, they will add this kind of stencil over it. And finally, the PCBs will go inside this wave soldering machine. So here, as you can see, uh, this is the complete, uh, uh, what you could say, wave soldering machine. And the PCB is right now here. Uh, it will go through this, this, this. This is kind of uh, the shoulder base in the, in the liquid form. It will, uh, when PCB goes through this segment, it will get uh, attached or shouldered to the to the pads on which the components are placed and later it will come here and we'll have to check this out let's wait for the PCB so yeah after the wave shouldering machine like the PCB will come in this particular format where all the pads are perfectly shouldered and yeah that's how the DIP components are being shouldered automatically like we need to place it manually of course but the shouldering is done through this particular machine Moving ahead, I found that some people were doing the shouldering manually. So when I asked why, I got to know some details about their processes. So uh, they use different kind of method based on the quarter quantity as well. If there is a bulk quantity, they do it in the phase shouldering. Because maybe they need to put a different kind of stencil as well to hold the components and the PCDs and everything. And when the order quantity is next, uh, well, they will do with the manual sorting just like this. Moving further ahead, we landed on the coating area where they apply some kind of coating over the PCBs. So let's understand what it is. So here as you can see, this machine is applying some kind of coating to all the solder points and once the coating is applied, it goes through this oven and after a couple of seconds, we get to see the coated PCBs here. 
Now, when I ask about the reason of coating, then they said it's applied to avoid the solder pads from oxidation to ensure high performance of the product. And this process is not performed for all the PCBs, rather it's based on the customer's requirement. And after all these steps, the PCBs with assembled components comes here at the packaging department where they will pack all the individual PCBs properly and finally it will be shipped to the customers. And that's all about the PCBA service provided by PCB GoGo. And with this, we come to the end of the complete PCB GoGo factory tour. Now, really, before visiting the factory, I was not aware about the processes that are involved behind building the PCBs that we use. And also, I get to see a lot of machines that makes the PCB production task faster and accurate as well. And in case if you asked me about which was that one machine which I like the most, then uh, it was the flying needle probe test kind of machine which is used to test the continuity of each and every part of the PCB to ensure that it is working completely fine. Well, I really like that machine. And similarly, if I ask you about which is that one machine or other, which is that one process out of this complete PCB manufacturing process which you like the most or that made you feel kind of wow, well, do share that particular machine or the process down in the comments of the video. And yeah, I hope you find this video helpful and you got to know everything about what goes behind uh, manufacturing a PCB. I hope you got all your answers in this single video. And in case if you still have some doubt regarding the PCB manufacturing or regarding any of the process or the steps shown in the video, well, you can ask them in the comments and maybe I or the PCB Google team will try to help you out with your doubts. Yeah, if you find this video really helpful, well, a like will be definitely be appreciated. Yeah, with that being said, I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video and then let's explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.